evening, viewers, and welcome to yet another edition of the Business Watch. This evening, we'll be discussing some of the important initiatives being facilitated by the Business Development Company Limited, earmarked to further develop and enhance the small and medium enterprise sector. The BDC, as you may be aware, has been very much in the news recently, really making a difference in terms of the organization's support for the SME sector. And with me is Mr. Albert Chow, who is the president of the Business Development Company Limited. Mr. Chow, welcome to Business Watch. Thank you very much for having me, Sandri. Welcome. Mr. Chow, the BDC is the official trade promotion organization in Trinidad and Tobago, assuming responsibilities for international business promotion and export certification. And I know this encompasses a wide gamut of activities, which we'll discuss later in the interview. But what is the major focus of the organization? Uh, the, the major focus is business development. And by that we mean we are here to grow business. And we grow business in four major ways. We grow the number of business, the size of business, the earnings of business, and the efficiency of business. And that really encompasses what the business development is about, business development company limited. In a major sense. Yeah. The trade promotion aspect is but one aspect of the organization. You have the trade promotion essentially responsible, responsible for assisting all businesses increase their exports, with the exception of the energy sector, of course. Um, and we also, as an overall position, we are looking at sustainable diversification. We want to, to have this country, as we all do, um, having a wider range of products that we produce for ourselves, for our own consumption, and produce for export as well. Yeah. And I know in the recent um, budget, 2010-2011, the Minister of Finance um, was very strong in terms of the whole issue of economic diversification. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure the BDC has a critical role to play in terms of, already playing, but mm -hmm. more, more pronounced in terms of uh, making that happen, uh, contributing yeah. to it. We, we do have a role in, in it, um, and, but our focus is more on what do we have now and how do we get more out of what we have. In a sense, it's more the intensification of our producers, our current exporters, and intensification of our current producers for the local market. And um, there's another element, uh, a larger element, uh, into what next. Yes. Um, and we are not focused on the what next aspect. That is more the policy decision of the government, and in a sense, the prerogative of the private sector. They will take the lead in the what next. We are more on what is, and how we can improve and increase what we are right now. And in that what next scenario, there will be a collaborative component for the BDC, I'm sure. Yes, well, certainly they will, they will, they, they will ask us what we think uh, is possible, but, uh, but we are not uh, a good foresighter in that sense. There are other organizations who have done a lot of work on foresighting in this country uh, who will be better prepared, certainly the universities, yes. and so that will be better prepared to talk to it. Yes, yes, yes. Mr. Chow, in terms of small and medium enterprises, what are the key characteristics that define, define them, small and medium? Without going into the actual numbers, the, the Ministry of Labor has a definition that, that speaks to three things. The number of employees, the assets of the company, and the sales. And certain, at certain points, you move from micro to small, from small to medium, and from medium to large. Um, I think, and, and I don't know all the numbers off the top, but yes. generally these numbers, our small, medium, and large, would be in, in, let's say for instance in Europe, all in their medium category. So even our large companies would be medium in, in larger countries. In the context of value and the things that yes. you have alluded to. Yes. Excellent. Let's talk a bit about Caribbean Leasing Company, mm -hmm. which is a subsidiary of the BDC. It's wholly owned by BDC, um, and it provides financial um, leases to businesses with which to acquire equipment, machinery, etc. How successful have these operations been thus far in terms of moving forward? And I'm sure it's linked to the BDC's operations as well. Okay. The Caribbean Leasing Company is, is going to be 10 years old next year. It was the first standalone leasing company in the Caribbean, and by that process alone has had a, a demonstrated uh, effect on the whole market. 
When Caribbean leasing came into Trinidad and Tobago, there were no other leasing entities. Since that time, there were several other leasing entities, so an industry has been formed around leasing. Caribbean leasing, we, what we provide as distinct from maybe other leasing organizations, we tend to focus on productive assets. So we are interested in assets that are going to produce goods and services for Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, and, and we, of course, have competitive rates and a reasonable time frame for repayment as well. Excellent. We take a short commercial break. When we return, we continue our discussions with Mr. Albert Chow, President of the BDC. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Business Watch on CNC3. With me is Mr. Albert Chow, President of the Business Development Company Limited, and we are discussing the important initiatives being facilitated by the organization. Mr. Chow, thank you very much. Mr. Chow, let's talk about the loan guarantee program, which is one of the more important, one of the more, I would say, popular services offered mm -hmm. by the BDC. And I know it is designed to provide a guarantee um, sec on security in terms of um, lending to small and medium mm -hmm. entrepreneurs. Yeah. How does it work, the process? The loan guarantee process or the loan guarantee product is uh, provision of additional collateral for the commercial banks and the credit unions. The business development company provides collateral to those organizations that do the lending. Uh, so for instance, uh, a company that uh, you as a, a, a merchant or producer approaches, you approach the commercial bank, and they would have an interest in your, in your project. They think that is a good business risk, but you as an individual or small company may not have the amount of collateral that they require. We at the business development company will put up that collateral um, to support you in getting the commercial loan. Uh, the, the commercial loan process, as all commercial loan processes, are rigorous. Um, and we ourselves have our process to determine whether we will support it or not, looking at everything, portfolio risk, uh, the information about the market, the consumer, the product, and of course, the person involved in the enterprise. How? Okay. We, we partner with, with some of the banks. We have a partnership right now with Scotia Bank where we have uh, better than average opportunities to get the loan guarantees for your, for your company. So we are partnering with the commercial banks as they come to us and we work with them. And we're hoping by the collaboration and the joint advertisements that we will get more and more companies as they need the funds to come into the commercial banks and seek to get the loans. Okay. Before you um, developed the alliance with Scotia Bank, mm -hmm. um, how, how, did, how, um, how successful was it in terms of the other lending agencies? We have had, I would say, mixed success. We've had, we haven't had the, the take up from the credit unions that we would have liked. The commercial banks are on board, um, but it's the, well, the credit union sector, which more which dealt with more personal type loans as distinct from business loans in the past have been slower to take the take up the, the, the opportunities for the loan guarantee. But more and more the credit unions are coming on board, signing the agreement with us, and as their customer base diversified from maybe personal and household loans to business loans, we would they would also use our facilities. So you're saying that the BDC would um check the business plan to make sure it's viable in terms of, yeah. and, and all the other elements of, of, of um, preparation. Yeah, essentially, as the same documents as prepared for the commercial banks, we use those documents to evaluate. Oh, I see. Um, and because we have a risk of, of losing the collateral, we have to make another judgment that one, yes, we agree that the commercial bank's evaluation is right. No, we don't agree that the commercial bank's evaluation is right. Um, there may be discussions before and after, but at the end of the day, we are risking uh, the capital, not of business development company, but at the end of the day, the capital of the country in guaranteeing um, an individual or a company's loan. Okay, and what is the maximum loan guarantee? Right now, the maximum loan guarantee is half a million dollars, and we have been, we have been working towards increasing that. Okay. So you can, you know, if you're, if you're borrowing maybe a million dollars and you don't have 
all the collateral, um, up to half a million dollars in collateral can be provided by the business development company. But as a final note, the commercial bank must think the project is a good project. Okay. And we take it from And there. they take a risk as well. Yes. Uh, even though we guarantee the loan for every dollar loss, they have a loss. So it is not risk free to them. Okay, okay. It's risk sharing in yes. a sense. In yeah. a sense. Still on your services and products, the BDC Trade Portal and Business mm -hmm. Solution. I know um, those are the two, two important services again, or again, get yeah. towards business enhancement. And I want to talk about the BDC Trade Portal later on, but just share a bit with us in terms of those two. Well, uh, I, will, I will speak on one aspect of the, the Trade Portal. Mm -hmm. the, the BDC Trade Portal houses quite a few um, products or sub-products, but one very, very interesting product that we have right now is the ability of every company in Trinidad to be able to set up a selling website. A selling website primarily, selling in US dollars, uh, but that can, that, that can allow you to sell to the USA, Europe, Africa, Asia, all your products. So you can take an order, receive the money. Of course, you have to be responsible for the fulfillment. You have to deliver the goods that you, are committed, that you have committed by accepting people's money. Uh, that we can't do for you. Yes. But through the BDC, BDC trade portal, any company in Trinidad can, with about 48 hours, 48 man hours work, set up a website similar to Amazon or anywhere that you go to buy any product, uh, 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 Barnes & Noble, any sort of website that you would have gone to buy equipment online, anything like that, you can do an equivalent in, with about 48 man hours. In two hard working days, you can put together a website that can accept money, um, take orders, inform you that the orders have come in, that you have to do the fulfillment. The, the payment system is through the United States, or at this point it has to be through the United States, uh, because we don't have the local legislation in place, etc., etc. And but apart from that aspect, everything else is yours. You manage every single bit of your business. So if you have the world's best CD uh, or the world's best any product that you can think of, book, magazine, um, jam or jelly, you can do that and sell that product on the on the internet um, by Friday. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. In terms of business solution, mm -hmm. how do you measure, how have you been measuring the success of it? And at the same time, maybe you could um, chat a bit about the challenges that you may have been experiencing with the business solution product. The, well, for, for us, our business solution product is, a, is, is to assist companies um, in overcoming an obstacle. What we do is provide assistance through uh, technical, if you want, consultancy to assist companies uh, that have problems that outside assistance can allow them to rectify or to provide options for solutions. Because as a business person, you have the you have to make the decision. We, for instance, another uh, another an example as such. But if you have a particular problem, we can support you to find the particular skill that you will choose to assist you to define your problem more clearly or perhaps define a solution. Yes. Um, it, is not a, it is not a free service in the sense that you have to pay part of the cost. Um, and once you have done that, you are, you are still the one that, that has to do the implementation. So it is not that we provide the solution, but we will provide the path to the solution. Excellent. Right? And if you follow what the advice given, you may or may not succeed, but um, the chances of your success are higher. And that is what we try to do. As we said, as I said earlier, we have to try to increase the success and efficiency of business. And that is how we work with the business solution. Excellent. We take a short commercial break. When we return, we continue our discussions with Mr. Albert Chow, President of the BDC.
Welcome back to Business Watch on CNC3. With me is Mr. Albert Chow, President of the BDC. Mr. Chow, welcome back. Thank you very much. Good. Mr. Chow, still on the BDC Trade Portal, which is an online business platform with some 900 registered companies, um, what are some of the benefits of the service? I'm sure they are yeah. quite a bit. Well, as I mentioned, in the Trade Portal has several components. That component of the, the Trade Portal is an opportunity for companies in Trinidad to set up their own website. Yes. I was speaking earlier of setting up a trading portal where yes. you can buy or sell. Yes. But if you want to, to have a, a website that can show off your products or show off your intentions, show off anything, that you may not have a product that, is, that you can sell on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe construction services, um, accountancy services, legal services, you can create your website using the BDC Trade Portal as a door to the internet. Yes. So again, with minimal work, you can have your own website without the need to go to a website developer yes, sir. to do it for you. Yes. So in terms of, I, I would think in terms of um, relative cost, it might cost you one tenth of what it will cost you if you go to a, a commercial developer website. Does not, it does not mean that a commercial developer website wouldn't give you a better product, but you can learn how to interact with web and see what kind of feedback you get to your products or services in a startup type of way. Right? You can dive in and spend the 40, 50,000 and do a complete website, or you can come and do a lot of the work yourself and produce something that is totally acceptable and you are going through our door onto the web. But to the viewer, they are seeing you as having your own website. And that's a huge benefit. It is itself. a huge benefit, yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Still on products and services, the high growth potential company mm. is another product aimed at assisting you know, companies, mm. a specific type organizations. Mm. What type of companies can access this um, service? And, and if you can describe it for us as well. What we are doing is we are, we are creating new products that we, 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 we find would benefit groups of companies in Trinidad and Tobago. So the high growth potential companies is one group. We also have an innovation group, which is our Instill Innovation um, Program. So one group, the high growth potential companies, we uh, are still looking for uh, more and more companies to, to, to fill that program. And it is a, a one-year program where we would work with companies through the course of one year to, to achieve their objectives. Now, the objectives of high growth companies generally is to double sales, quadruple sales, uh, or quadruple production. Yes. So we, we, we make an evaluation of whether your company or whether your plans for your company are, are likely to be achieved with, with support. And then we would bring in the support to assist you. And in terms of support, we, uh, we work with one consultant in the, in, the, in the start and then get more specialized consultancy to help you. Again, it is not a free program, but it certainly it, it doesn't cover the cost of what the inputs that we put in. So it is, uh, for, for whatever you put in, we may put in four times as much. But it, the objective, uh, again, is to increase the size and viability of your company. And how long has this service been in operation? This is a new service and we are still we are still out there. We just recently advertised it, so um, it will be about August 2010 that we would have started this. Good, good. Mr. Chow, it seems to me that research and development as well as innovation mm. high, are high on the agenda for the BDC in terms of moving forward. Mm. Um, I see it all the time in terms of your ads, and I see that research and development element, and particularly innovation mm. emanating there. What are some of the recent initiatives that you will have embarked upon in that regard? I will, I will take the last one first. The Instill Innovation is one of our new products as well. And here we are looking at companies that are breaking new ground um, uh, in Trinidad and Tobago. There, there may be uh, and types of industries that we have not attempted before. So if you are a pioneer, maybe an industry that exists obviously somewhere else in the world, but if you are a pioneer in that type of industry, we would look to provide again the kind of resources, the kind of support that would make you a success or that will give you a much better chance of being a success. 
Um, and so therefore, there, there are no limitation of what your company yes. can do. We have, we have spoken to service companies, ICT companies, and production companies. And you can be an old company that looking to do things differently as well. So it is not, you have to have a, a single idea, but your idea could be revolutionary for something you have been producing for the last 20 years. You want to change up your process, you want to change up the system, the packaging, whatever the innovation is. Uh, we, again, we're working with other organizations, the universities, Kariri, MIC, to bring talent and skill to help you succeed in, in that innovation. Um, and it again is a, it's a new program that started, we are in October, we are essentially in October right now, in August, we would have launched that program as well. And on top of that, we have the research and development program, research, research and development grant, which was recently in the budget increased to half a million dollars. That grant, again, is for, is for research and development leading towards commercialization. Okay. Right? So it is not research for research for research sake. sake yes. right? it's, it's, it's research and development towards commercialization, as is innovation is towards commercialization. It's not an invention for the sake of an invention. It has to, it has to move to, to, to the, to the cash, cash register at some point in time. So the research and development grant has been increased from 100,000 to half a million dollars. Right? So it's just a significant jump. Yes. And this is what the private sector has been calling for. They have um, lobbied significantly, and TTM in particular, yes. to, to get that done for, uh, for companies in Trinidad and Tobago. And we are hoping with the announcement, and it starts in next month, 1st of October, that a lot more companies will come on board and say, well, look, we have this to do. And this is, is the 100,000 was, certainly wasn't sufficient, yes. but half a million is going to carry us that much further along. And how the Research and Development Grant operates, essentially, we have a, a, com, a, 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 we want a private sector, not board, but a private sector team yes. that evaluates the program and decides on whether we should invest the, the monies in the research and development. So that is ongoing, and uh, we are hoping certainly for a big revival in it. It has been in place for just about two or three years right now, and we've had about eight or ten research and development grants that were, that were made. But now we expect a different level because the private sector has been calling that they need more research and development yes, funds. Yes. And now that is here. I'm sure you, um, we, we can expect some milestones coming mm -hmm. out of that in terms of success. Well, we do hope. Um, we have, in, the, in, in recent times, have had some ads which are testimonials from and people so who, who've gotten research and development grants and they speak to their successes based on the assistance of the grant. So we are expecting it to, to, to grow and, well, to multiply essentially because we're talking about five times the amount of money yes. being invested in the grant. So we're looking multiples of five times in terms of success. Yes. Mr. Chaudhary, BDC is definitely on the right track, um, particularly because we are operating in a competitive environment globally, mm -hmm. as well as the whole question um, of economic diversification, mm -hmm. which is, is, is um, high on our agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Chow, you have said a lot um, in terms of the kind of work and activities that the BDC um, continue to embark on. What kind of vision do you have for the sector from where you sit as head of the BDC, president of the BDC, and for the entire sector? What would you like to see down the road in terms of enhancement? Well, I, I can't really speak about en uh, enhancement of, as such, but in terms of our efforts, our efforts are focused on the businesses that exist in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, we focus on the medium and large companies based on the, the Ministry of Labor definition. And we, our, the opportunity for us is for the, the companies to take us on board, take us into their confidence, let us understand what they want, and we in turn promise, do promise, to change our products and services to meet their needs. And if we do that, if we respond to what the customers want, and we can do it quickly, and they can react and, 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 if you want, partner with us, we will provide help. 
we are hoping that they can grow and grow and grow and increase our value added to the local to the products that are in use in Trinidad and Tobago. And of course, by increasing the value added, increase our exports abroad as well. Okay. And that would redound to the benefit of the economy and eventually have an impact on the economic diversification. Because we are a tiny part of the economy, when I say the non, the non energy sector yes. is a tiny part of the economy. And we, we are trying to match what the energy sector brings in, I suppose, maybe 10, 15, 20 years. I don't know what the target will be. But in order to do that, what we, what we have, the, the, the private sector now has to take us on board, um, accept us, share with us the information, and we in turn would reward their sharing of the information with us by giving them the support that, that, that they need. And therein lies the relevance of PDC. That's in, in, if we can partner with the, the business community that we target, um, and they trust us, and we can trust them to implement, or at least to try to implement what they say they want to implement, if we can provide the support, we hope at the, at the output would be greater success for them and the country in terms of the numbers of business, the size of business, the efficiency of business, and the earnings of the businesses. Well said. Mr. Chow, I want to thank you sincerely for taking the time off from your busy schedule mm. to be my guest on the Business Watch this evening. And I would like to wish you and your management team at the BDC all success in your continued your, your, um, future endeavors. Thank you very much, Andrew. There you have it, viewers, Mr. Albert Chow, President of the BDC, sharing with us information on the work and activities that have been facilitated by the organization, all earmarked to further develop the small and medium enterprise sector in Trinidad and Tobago. I hope it was informative. Thank you for viewing. Until next week.